For the past few months that I've been on the Framer template review team, I've noticed a mistake that 99% of people are making with their FAQ sections. And I honestly think it might surprise you what it is. I'm gonna show you what it is and how you can fix it to improve your chances of getting accepted into the Framer template marketplace. Now, if at any point in this video you learn something or I say something that you enjoy, consider subscribing or leaving a like. It's really helpful. And the more you engage with these videos, the more likely I am to make the kinds of videos that you wanna watch. So the problem has nothing to do with how it looks, but it's got everything to do with how it acts and more importantly, how it's built. So let me show you how you're probably building your accordions now. If this is you, I want you to comment, OMG, that's literally me, lol. Uh, not now, of course, I haven't built it yet. I'll, I'll tell you when to do it. To start off, I'm just gonna write a heading or a question. For example, what is blocks? If you keep watching, I'll answer that question for you, I promise. Now, I'm just gonna set a style, put a style on it. I'm gonna wrap it in a stack. Name it question. Then what we're gonna do is add an icon to it. Um, I like the phosphor ones, insert phosphor, just switch it over to the right. 24 by 24, it's a good size. And then make it the plus. Just gonna change the color here. Yeah, just black, that's fine. Now, we're gonna wrap it in another stack. We're just gonna choose the question stack, wrap it in another stack. Gonna name it accordion row. and we're gonna give it a fixed width of 400. We're gonna set the distribution to start and the direction to vertical. We're also gonna give it 24 pixels of padding, just like that. We're gonna give it a border. Yep, that's good. And then we're also gonna give it a radius. This is all just styling. You don't have to do exactly that. Set the question stack to fill, just like that. And then go in and set the text to fill as well. And that will give you this. So now we've got our question, but every accordion needs an answer. That's the whole point of it, right? So let's whack in some text, boom. Okay, I've just copied and pasted in something and you can see it's obviously like overflowing out the sides. That's because the width is set to fit. We wanna set it to fill and then that's gonna give us a bit of a better thing there. There you go. Just gonna set the style. I'm just gonna move it below. Now, if you've built an accordion before, I'm sure this all looks very familiar. I'm not doing anything different here or groundbreaking at all. This is probably exactly what you do. Now you wanna create a component Yep, sure, and we'll give it a fill. White, that's fine. And we'll immediately just go ahead and give it another variant. This one will be our open, this one will be our closed. So this next part is where most people go wrong. Let me show you. Most people set the text to not visible. Womp womp. What? But it works though, right? Yeah, so does robbing a bank to get rich. Uh, is it the best way though? Probably not. But let me first show you what's wrong with this. Oh, by the way, it's now the correct time to comment. OMG, that's literally me, lol. So let's link them up by tap. Yep, tap, boom, tap, and preview it. Notice how the text just jumps in and out instantly, even though the rest of it animates really smoothly. It just kind of looks unfinished. Yes, it gets the job done, but do you wanna be someone who just gets the job done or do you wanna be someone who exceeds expectations? Because the ones who are exceeding expectations are the ones who are getting their templates accepted and they're the ones who are making more money from clients. If you want that to be you, keep watching. We want it to look like this instead, where all the text animates smoothly like a drawer opening and closing. Compare it to this, where it just goes away immediately. So how do we do it? I'll show you. First, let's undo the bad way by selecting the text and then resetting the override. Then we're gonna select the closed variant, set the gap to zero. We're gonna select the text layer, uh, set it to visible, and then wrap it in another stack. So that's gonna automatically set it to fill. That's what we want. Just make sure that the text is also set to fill, perfect. We're gonna name this stack answer. Now we're gonna set the direction to vertical, the distribution to end, and then the overflow 
to hidden. Here's where the magic happens. Instead of setting the text in our closed variant to not visible, we're gonna set the wrapper's height to one pixel. And then we're gonna set the open variant to fit. So let's preview it. Now I think it looks a lot better and trust me when I say, so will the other people using your site. Little improvements like this that improve the quality of your work is what's gonna set you as a designer apart from others who don't do this. Little changes such as these. Also wanna go ahead and find rotate. I don't know why that was so difficult to find. Set it to 45 and let's check it out. Nice. Now is having one well-built accordion on an otherwise poorly built website gonna impress anyone? Probably not. That's why I think it's a really good idea as a framer designer to use something like Blocks, which is a UI kit that my team and I have been building for months now. It's a huge library of really well-built components, just like this accordion, as well as full website sections, such as footers, hero sections, nav bars, CTAs, footers, I said that already, the list goes on. Now the fact that you clicked on this video in the first place and you're still watching, that tells me that you're someone who wants to up your frame a game. I really respect that and I wanna reward people like you who take action. So for the next seven days, I'm gonna personally send everyone who signs up to the Blocks waiting list a 20% off discount code so that when Blocks does come out very soon, you can use it to get 20% off Blocks, just my treat to you. Otherwise, I hope you learned something and that you really enjoyed the video. Thanks guys.